All right, Fred, thanks so much. Well, heart disease is the leading cause of death for men and women in the U.S., according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. That's right. February is Heart Month, after all, and as part of our Ask the Expert series in partnership with Bon Secours St. Francis Health, 7 News' Jennifer Martin spoke with a cardiologist about the top seven myths about heart disease. When it comes to heart disease, cardiologist Dr. Jeffrey Senfield at Bon Secours St. Francis hears many myths from patients. The first, I'm too young to have heart disease. The American Heart Association guidelines recommend that you start checking your cholesterol levels as early as age 20. Another myth he hears often is that if heart disease runs in your family, you can't prevent it. I think you more than anyone should really do everything in your power to reduce the things that you do to yourself. As for example, eating healthy, reducing your uh, cholesterol, exercising routinely. He also reminds people that heart attacks don't always come with chest pains. It could present as nausea or abdominal pain or tingling down the, the left arm or stiffness in your neck um, or even shortness of breath. And he says many don't realize that diabetes increases your risk for a heart attack and so does high blood pressure. Greater than 140, 150, 160 as is the high number, that will lead to serious, serious medical disease if untreated. Another misconception, that having a fast heartbeat means you're having a heart attack. You might have another medical problem that needs to be treated. And finally, he says people often avoid exercise after having a heart attack, but they shouldn't. You can reduce having another heart attack as much as 20 or 30% by getting involved in exercise. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about half of Americans have at least one of the top three risk factors for heart disease, which includes high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and smoking. In studio, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. And you can also submit a health question for our series by going to our website. Just go to WSPA.com, click on the News tab, and then click on Ask the Expert. And that's also where you can find a list of ways to take control of your heart health.